Hello friends, it's Drayton with World's Greatest Kiting. Today, my friend Heath and I are going to, could be the best breakfast joint uh, until we do a full review of breakfast joints. This will rest in at least the top five in St. Pete. Central Coffee is what I'm talking about. I don't think that I've taken you guys in here yet before. But all the friendly faces of beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida. This is my go-to, everybody. It's corned beef hash with gravy and cheese on top. I get it about everywhere I go. Thanks. What'd you get, Heath? Normal, normal breakfast stuff. Normal breakfast. And crystal. Now, they claim that they have the best pancakes in St. Pete. What do you think? I keep seeing these orange bicycles all over town. I wonder what the deal is. These bikes. Hey friends, today we are at the South Florida Museum in Bishop Planetarium. We wanted to check out this planetarium and they got some really cool stuff in here I was not prepared for. Check this stuff out. That thing is so good. And they have one you can walk up and touch right here too. That's a big look. You don't really get a true picture of what this is like from this camera, but this place is so rad. Well, that way, I feel like we can see more of it. So cool. That's rad. Thank you. Tom Hanks did. Those are all the questions I get about this show. It's always related to Tom Hanks. He is the narrator. Uh, but what's really important about this program, what's worthy of mentioning, is not necessarily the narrator, while he does make it a very pleasant show to listen to. 
Um, the program is a beautiful representation of our place in space. How many of you like to play with Google Earth? It's a lot of fun. What if it was just Google made up? Would it be as fun? No. If it was just a made up world and it wasn't, re it might be a little fun to play around, but you would never really go back to it because it doesn't represent anything real. What we're gonna see here today is kind of like Google Earth, except we're talking about the universe. It's an unimaginably dense part of space. You're gonna see about 500 million light years of the observable universe. So friends, I couldn't take video while I was in the planetarium, but I did see the credits at the end. My friend Carter Emmer from the uh, Museum of National Hi Natural History in New York City, the Hayden Planetarium, he had a part to do with this, I knew it. But what a cool adventure through outer space that was. If you guys are in this area, you got to check this out. It's so worth it. So worth it. And Tom Hanks was the narrator. It was really cool. Snooty bonus, we get to see Snooty today. I swear. Looks like a pretty normal what? doctor's office, oh. right? Well, uh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know about this doctor's know. office. Oh. Ether mask. That looks real dangerous. Gold dental crowns. <coughs> Some more medical stuff. Containers. That is a lot of heroin and rhubarb. So. I know some of you guys would be interested mm. in these. Oh, man. Wow. Some more containers. A doctor's lady. And a whole bunch of eyeballs in a case. <laughs> kind of looks like the eyeballs are on the, the big mouth and that, that pan, the nose is in the middle where the handle is. <laughs> oh, Lord. Bed pans. Here's what the dentist's office look like. I think I would like going to the dentist then more than I don't like it now. Sorry, Jeff. What the heck is this? Oh. So it wasn't something medical. Jeez. Pretty cool to get all these quilts in here. And right over here, you guys that make kites know so this is cool. I got samples of all these different fabrics. Taffeta, a lot of banners are made of that. Velvet's kind of crazy. Suede. Silk is always a nice fabric to use.
So guys, you weren't cool unless you were making quilts. Don't let people make fun of you for being a sewer, you guys. The museum's huge. I think this museum has a little of everything. But all these shells. This guy looks like macaroni and cheese. Wow, that is so amazing. Holy cow. That's a cool one. I like these oddly colored ones. I especially like that color, just in general. It was my favorite color. Turquoise, Tiffany blue type. Look at this one. That's cool. This is pretty cool. Different ways of observing the stars, the moon, and useful tools that probably not many people know how to use anymore. Even a, well, they call it a divider protractor. See? You guys ever seen one of those? Simple tools. Look out! Oh, it's fake. Never mind. Oh, little Florida Panthers playing, frolicking. They're cute and friendly, but they are killers of different prey. But they do look pretty. Pretty friendly and fun, right? Now the big bonus of today is that we get to meet Snooty. At least I think we get to meet Snooty. If you don't know who Snooty is, he's this famous manatee around these parts. Here's kind of him. It's not really him. I'm gonna go check it out.
is the largest, scariest rodent I've ever seen in my life. It's a giant armadillo, it says. It's huge. Look how big this gigantic jaw bone is. Holy cow. Now this is a replica, but still shows the size. How crazy big it is. <coughs> this is actually the largest mastodon that was ever found in the United States. It was found in North Florida where these mastodons used to hang out about 10,000 to 12,000 years ago. That whole museum was really cool. Everything about it. They had so much stuff there, so much Florida history, all those shells and the rocks, and they had all kinds of stuff that I didn't even show you because there's no way I'd have time. This is a really cool place. That planetarium doesn't just have one show. They have like three different types of shows. It's only $4. Can't beat it. Now, it's onward and upward. Baba, what do you want to drink? Oh, Peroni. Peroni? Yeah. Yes. We are at the famous Gold's Fish House. The one and only. Hey, friends, thanks for watching today. I appreciate it. That was a really cool museum. If you get a chance, go check out that Southern Florida History Museum. It had all kinds of stuff in it. Like I said, there's no way I could have shown you everything in that museum. It was just too big. It would take it too much time. So go check it out. Also, don't tell anybody now, but Walt's Fish Shack is the best fish food anywhere. <laughs> Not fish food. Human food made of fish. <laughs> Whatever. It's the best fish place in St. Pete for sure. Go check them out, Walt's Fish Shack. And until tomorrow everybody, happy flying.